It has been 10 months since my dog Mochi has been neutered and all the changes, hormones have all settled. After the surgery, Mochi was the exact same dog for about eight weeks as he was prior to the surgery. And then after those eight weeks, the hormones all leveled out again and the changes began to show. So do I regret the surgery? Well, let's get into all the details and if I regret the surgery or not. Mochi's so first of all, Mochi was neutered when he was 13 months old, which is when he was fully grown and the vet confirmed he was fully grown. This is actually really important that I wanted to mention because neutering your dogs too early is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of dog owners make. Of course, a lot of adopted rescue dogs are already neutered, then don't worry about it, there's nothing you could do about it. But if neutering your dog is in your control, there's severe downsides to neutering your dog too early, including inability for your dog to mentally mature, the growth blades not closing properly, some joint and bone issues down the line, and just a lot of downsides. So just wait till your dog is fully grown, depending on the size of the breed and your dog. It's usually anywhere from like eight months to two years. And without further ado, do I regret this decision to neuter my dog? No, absolutely not. And let me tell you all the reasons why I don't regret it, but also some negative downsides for full transparency. I'll start with a few cons of the surgery to, you know, make it really clear the pros and the cons and then I'll get into why I'm so happy I did get mochi neutered so stick around to the end of the video to hear the reasons why I am glad. So one downside of the surgery is mochi's now severe severe dislike of intact male dogs. So this isn't such a downside because it's hard to say if this would have been any different if mochi you know, continue to be intact without getting neutered. To put briefly, it's super common for a bunch of male dogs, intact and neutered, to have issues with intact male dogs, AKA non-neutered male dogs. To put briefly, this conflict with intact male dogs and other dogs is actually super common because of their high level of testosterone that they exude, so other dogs view them as a threat. Neutered dogs view them as a threat because they don't have that testosterone and that, you know, character trait, I guess. And then other intact dogs view them as a threat as well because of the direct competition. So Mochi has always had issues with intact males here and there before the surgery. So even though now it's almost 100% certain that he is going to have issues with intact male dogs, I can't even say it would have been any different if he hadn't been neutered, but it's just something to worth noting. And the only other downside of neutering Mochi is that I feel like his reactivity has gotten slightly worse. Now this happens actually pretty often in neutered dogs because again, neutered dogs lose a lot of that testosterone and hormones that are kind of balancing their mood, for lack of a better word, I don't know the scientific explanation. And with that, it actually comes with a loss of some confidence. Now this doesn't happen to every neutered dog. I know plenty of neutered male dogs that are the same exact dog confidence level wise, reactivity wise before and after the surgery. But with Mochi, it was kind of clear to me that after the surgery, he had lost some of that confidence and his reactivity had gone a little bit worse. So what happened was that before the surgery, Mochi was already reactive, especially to other dogs and like moving things. And then we we were training a lot and then leading up to the surgery he was actually quite good you know reactivity going down then after those eight weeks after the surgery i noticed that reactivity got you know significantly noticeably worse but again i wouldn't say this is like such a huge downside because again with some training afterwards he got back to where he was before the surgery in a matter of a few months okay so now let's talk about why i'm so happy i got my dog neutered and why i don't regret it first of all even though i just mentioned the minor conflicts mochi has with intact male dogs it's important to keep in mind that most dogs we encounter are also neutered so before mochi was neutered he was basically one of the only intact male dogs around this area that we live so when we go out on walks, Mochi was always a target for other male dogs. Like I mentioned before, intact male dogs are often the target of other dogs' aggression. And this was just awful because I was always so worried whenever we would go out if an off-leash dog ran up to us and it happened to be a male nine times out of ten that dog would you know make an aggressive pass at mochi and you know this obviously wasn't a reason to get mochi neutered we did this for a plethora of reasons mostly health reasons and also pre preventing pregnancy but it's just a huge plus side is that now when we go out other dogs don't view mochi as a threat and I could kind of walk more safely and breathe easy. Going off that point, Mochi does get along so much better with other dogs now that he doesn't try to mount them. Since Mochi has been neutered, of course, as with most other neutered dogs, is they stop humping slash mounting other dogs. And this is just a huge game changer for just like play dates Mochi has even because when Mochi used to mount his friends when they were playing, 
it almost always led to the other dog getting frustrated and snapping at Mochi and you know a little fight breaking out and so before Mochi was neutered we had to kind of stop doing a lot of play dates which obviously was not fun for Mochi because he loves playing with his friends and yet now that he doesn't do that he just gets along better with his friends and also new friends that we meet so it's just simply much safer. Another plus of having Mochi neutered for me is that I could comfortably walk him off leash. So let's first be clear, I never walk Mochi off leash unless it's explicitly allowed to walk your dog off leash. Also, I already trained recall in Mochi and instilled that in him so hard that I wouldn't take him off leash unless I knew he had a good recall. However, before he was neutered, one major fear I had with Mochi taking him off leash was that if he smelled a female dog in heat. So if you're not aware, a lot of male intact dogs will often do like anything and everything to get to that female dog. I've seen videos of dogs climbing fences like 10 feet tall because there's an in heat female dog walking past the fence on the other side and yet it just wasn't you know fun to let mochi off leash when he was not neutered because of that possibility and risk but going off that point another reason going off leash with mochi before he was neutered was just really scary and also just felt really irresponsible so we didn't do it is because if your intact male dog does find a female dog that's also intact um, and they end up mating by accident, there's a really good chance you actually end up with an accidental litter. I know way too many people that have like accidental litters because of this. And not only is this irresponsible because accidental litters are just never a good idea because the parents aren't health tested, you're not reproducing for the goal of like bettering a breed, you're just like accidentally reproducing dogs that might have behavioral or genetic issues, etc. But it's also just a huge burden and a really irresponsible way of being a dog owner. For example, if your intact male runs off and impregnates a female dog that was out for a walk with her owner, she was on a leash, she was not planning on encountering other dogs, that's on you as the owner of the male dog. And because you didn't have the male dog under control, now that female dog owner has to deal with this whole situation and it's just not being a good responsible owner. Lastly, I'm just glad I don't have to worry about testicular cancer. When we talk to the vet, again, I'm not like a vet myself, so I'm just going off these conversations I had with vets, they told us that testicular cancer is actually a super common disease that a lot of male dogs will experience at one point in their life. And they end up having to be neutered at that point anyway to get rid of the cancer. And when you neuter a really old dog, that can come with a whole slew of complications because they have a harder time healing and recovering from such a big surgery. I know some studies that show, you know, neutering can come with a risk of other cancers or diseases, but after doing a ton of research and consulting with three separate vets, I personally think that neutering was just the best decision for us. And for more details on how neutering can potentially change your dog, check out that video I already made on that linked here on the screen.